little but a mighty voice. Tell him I want to be heard. Tired people are waiting to get on the train. See these bikes here? I'm pretty sure they've either been loaded, unloaded, or they're getting ready to load. And the trains here have a certain cart or cars that you can load your motorcycle bikes on. How cool is that? So let's check out some of these bikes. talk about bikes on this trip I'm going on overnight sleeper train from Bangkok um, train station to oh I forget the name of the place down south let me think on that but anyways let's look at the bikes Moral of the story is, I want to get my motorcycle license. So that will be upcoming videos. And I'll give all the information I possibly can of my experience. And uh, I'm, when I go down south, I'm actually visiting, visiting a friend but I'm not going to mention the name because I don't have uh, his consent or their consent. Um, so I'm going to spend some time down there and I'm going to uh, Koh Samui, is my destination. And I'm going to uh, try to get my uh, license to drive a motorcycle. That's exciting. Because then I'll be able to go places that I normally couldn't go unless scheduled by a bus or a taxi or some something. And this way I can like rent a bike and just explore Thailand a little bit deeper. Would be pretty cool. So yeah, not a complicated train station, quite simple. No big huge, how do I get out of here? How do I get in? <laughs> If you ever had those experiences, the king of Thailand. And you know what else is interesting that I found out about Thailand? I've always known it to be Thailand, but I know there's another name before Thailand it was called, but I don't remember what that is right now. But the fact that Thailand was never um, invaded is an interesting story if I read the history on that correct. But I would really like to get some of uh, the elders, locals, um, stories about things. I prefer that than getting go online and asking Google all these questions and getting all this information from Google. AI. I would rather get it from the elders. This is a little place, which is good. No, no, no. I'm waiting for the train. All the goods you can buy. <clears throat> All the goods you can buy. Take two. Look, look at these masks. I mean, they really accessorize these masks. 
I've seen some pretty unique masks that people have been wearing. It's actually quite nice in here. I have a mask on so I bring it down. It's actually quite nice in here and refreshing and cool. I got many hours to hang around this uh, train station until my sleeper train leaves. And it's probably like 2 o'clock so I probably got another. I don't even want to tell you. We'll put it this way, I'm spending all day at the airport, at the train station. Just fine. These fans do wonders. Love it. Tuk tuk. I asked you. Tuk tuk. I like to have that shirt. Tuk tuk. So, I have a question for anyone that can answer this. I always get amazed, no matter how many times it happens, and how many more times in the future it will happen, that the, t the day of travel, you have all your stuff ready, you go to the bus station, airport, whatever, however you decide to travel, and you sit there and you wait for your plane, and then your <clears throat> plane is ready, so you board your plane, and then you sit on the, tra uh, on the plane, and go how many hours you say five six seven hours say it's long distance and you sit there and then you get to your either destination or your ongoing destination is somewhere else so you're just going through transit that's the word transit um you do transit okay you get to your next flight you get on you fly up three four hours whatever the situation is and then you get to your airport and then you get to your hotel. And by the time you're to your hotel, you're exhausted. Now tell me, does anybody else experience this? Every time, so it takes me like a day or two to get on my feet properly. I mean, I can you go out to the neighborhood and wobble around a little bit. <laughs> Because I get motion, um, it's like when I'm in motion and then when I, I'm not in motion, I'm, my body is not adjusted to the, uh, the non-motion. <laughs> so you're exhausted sitting and walking some, but traveling is exhausting. It just is, for me anyways. That's my experience and I've seen other people as well. But you're sitting most of the time and waiting it's just uh yeah i just wanted to get that out there if you get any thoughts and ideas if you have experience tell me a story and comment on this one and if you got a solution i accept those two <laughs> check this out i got company they're checking the floors cleaning ladies <laughs> Right at the train station. <laughs> How cute is that? Boing, boing, boing. They're back. Going through another sweep through the floors. Oh, look. Another one. They come walking in like big bosses and scope the floor like cleaning ladies. It's confusing. I don't know if you can see this, but that's a pile of luggage in the middle of the floor where about 18 to 20 travelers come. And those are the people that belong to the luggage. So a lot of people are still traveling the world, which is great. I don't know how well you can see this, but I've been watching them clean on the train and uh, they do a really good job. And even the outside of the train is clean. And I see them spraying it down with water and sweeping it and whatnot. And they have these um, water stations. But I've been watching them clean on the train and they do a really good job and they're putting the new, sh uh, 
clean sheets on right now when they clean the beds off and but that's not the train I'm going on but just to say and show you that they did definitely do put effort in for the nice he's putting in my train is not here yet as you can see but I expect it here at any time time to board the train so I have to get class 2 car 5 Let's see. Oh, I would say that this is the one. I would say that's the one. I don't get no bed. I just get a seat with a fan. I'll survive. Just to then see what this next one is. Three. So the, do they miss numbers? Let's see how this works. Five, three. Another one leaving. Two. Some leaving, some coming. One. Okay. That's how it works. Turned all the seats around. It's already hot. Whoever invented the fan. I'm a fan of yours. And that's what we're sitting in. And I gotta take this luggage and put it up here and I'm waiting for a super strong man to come help me out. <laughs> it's so hot, I'm ready to melt. But I'm super excited. I can't lift it up. <laughs> it's too heavy. I think when I first started traveling, I had a small bag. Somehow it's gotten bigger, but I'm going to see if I can do some of that when I start traveling more up to Southeast Asia. I don't want to be taking all this luggage. I want to make it light, light and simple. We are on the moon. They said sleeper train. I was so happy to see the sunrise. In my mind, that meant I was either halfway through the journey or more than halfway. So, if you ask me, did I get any sleep last night? The answer is definitely not. I tried. Um, you just can't sleep in uh, situations like that. It's just impossible for anyone. At this point, I have gotten off the train in Surat Thani. Now I am aboard the van, which takes you to the ferry, which I thought was about a 45 minute drive, but I'm absolutely sure it took longer than that.
finally on the ferry to go to Koh Yang. It's been a long journey. I'm exhausted. But what a beautiful view. The ferry left the dock at 11 o'clock. And again, I was unsure of how long it was going to take. And at this point, I really didn't want to know the answer because I'm exhausted. I just want a shower. That's what I want first before food or anything else is a shower.